Awesome. Hello, everyone. Hello, Brandless community. This is Rita Katona. I'm a director of merchandising at Brandless, and we are so excited that you're joining Woo! us today. This is Maddie Ward. She Hi, is guys. our beauty tools expert, and we are here today to share a super, super exciting uh, new collection launch of our beauty tools, as well as some new beauty clean skincare items. Please uh, let your friends know that we are live and we're here answering any and all of your questions about clean beauty and beauty tools. So say hi to us um, on Facebook, let us know what your questions are and we will get them all answered. Um, without further ado, Maddie, yeah. tell us about this new collection. Well, I'm doing the hands up dance because that's the launch day dance. Launch <laughs> day is the best day and we're so excited to share these awesome products with you guys. Um, we've been working on them for a really long time and fine-tuning all the little details to make some um, really impactful items for you guys to use in your everyday life. So without further ado, Beauty Tools. We have seven new items launching within Beauty Tools um, and we can go through them individually, but as you can see as a collection, it's just a beautifully hand, um, hand nail, manicure, and eyelash curler kind of set to bring out the um, bring out the natural beauty in all of our amazing customers. I love the packaging, Maddie, or right. like lack of I packaging. Know. It's so Can you great. Talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So this packaging is perfect for e-commerce and that's because it protects your product in the box with your quinoa and your hand cream and your tree-free toilet paper. So it'll protect this awesome product, it'll keep it sharp, it'll keep it scratch-free, but it's also really minimal. So you're not having a huge impact on the environment um, and and it's really cool, it's just really sleek. Well, and, and cost too, right? So here yeah. at Brandless, we're about just what matters and packaging costs drive a lot of cost in products that are, are sold in traditional retail as well. So I love how minimal our packages and really delivering that protection for the product until it gets to a, to our, our customers and our community um, without driving additional cost. Absolutely, and so that costing that we can kind of save from all of the packaging expense that we're not using with this really cool sleek packaging um, goes into the product quality. So we're able to deliver really fantastic quality. We, we do not make any um, any uh, gaps in, in expectations of quality, and we're able to do that at $3 because the packaging um, is so sleek, minimal, and cool. Yeah, everything is $3. I mean, that's still, I've been working here for over four months, and that still blows my mind that all of these products are, are $3. We yeah. have uh, several of our community tuning in to join us, so hello to Rachel. Please tell us where you're tuning in from, everyone. We'd love to know where you're, where you're watching from, as well as what some of your favorite products are. So we have Monica saying that she loves the tree-free toilet paper and the yes. coconut almond bars. So do we. Um, Tracy, gluten-free blueberry muffins are amazing. Um, someone was just saying that they love the toner. Um, granola. Uh, Delilah saying hi from Austin. Kristen from Georgetown. And Sunyi from California. And Shelby also from Monterey. Awesome. And then hey hello from Chicago. So we're talking about Beauty Tools, which is our new collection that mm -hmm. just launched today. Everything $3. I mean, the last time I bought tweezers, I'm pretty sure I paid $20 for them. Isn't that crazy? Can it's, you talk about the quality of these compared to um, other products out there? It's equal. It's 100% equal. So these are really sharp tweezers, and that's what you care about in a tweezer. You want it to be able to pick up those kind of hard to reach hairs, and when you're um, when you're tweezing, you don't want any room for error, right? It's not really an enjoyable experience when you um, when your tweezer can't can't pick up what what it's trying to. So really quality product here, as you can see, super super sharp tip, enough tension on the tweezer so that you can um, create some leverage and and pick up those hard to reach hairs. A really sleek little brandless logo on the side, stainless steel. Um, just as high quality as what you're used to and you're only paying three dollars. So um, This product is amazing. It also comes with a little nylon um, pouch to help Maintain the sharpness of the blade because I don't know about you But my tweezers live in my makeup bag with everything else, right? It's kind of a mess totally. in there Yeah, um, and I, I love this little protective little tip protective too tip, since it's yeah. such a sharp slanted tip Which yeah. like you said, it's it's uh, important with tweezers um, all of us in the mm -hmm. office have, have tested these and uh, they certainly deliver on that quality promise. So yeah. it, what's your favorite product, Maddie? You worked on this entire assortment. Yeah, so I love the nail clipper set. Um, 
first of all, two nail clippers for $3 is amazing, right? Like that, that by itself. But then again, we went, we went that step further. And what I mentioned earlier, we talked about those little, we look for those smaller details that our customers care about and that you guys care about when you're, um, when you're buying nail clippers. So they're stainless steel nail clippers, again, with the same, um, same importance on sharpness and quality of the blade. We have a fingernail clipper here that actually has a curved tip. So that follows, oh my gosh, don't look at my nails right now. They're, <laughs> yeah, let's use Rita's. It follows that natural curve of your fingernail that you want to be able to um, maintain when you're clipping your nails. And then the toenail clipper, not only is it bigger and sturdier because toenails are gross and bigger and sturdier, <laughs> right? Um, but it also has a flat edge uh, blade so that when you're when you're clipping them it's it's um, it's giving you that ideal shape for a toenail versus a fingernail so those are little details that we take high very important in understanding how you guys are using your products it's also got a pad over on the um, on the flip side of the of the front uh, lever here so that you you you're not really hurting your finger as you're pressing down and, and using that um, using that I mean clipper. you can really see all of the little details um, really go to show all of the quality that went into the, the design and manufacturing of all of these tools and their components. Yes. Um, I actually have to say, I love the, the cuticle clipper. Yeah. And I'm not, so I'm, I'm a DIY manicure person because I just, I don't have the time to go to the salon regularly to get manicure and pedicure. Absolutely. And I love the cuticle clippers, even though I don't really cut my cuticles, but I get hang nails and there's mm -hmm. nothing like those cuticle clippers to like get those little things on the, on I know. the side. So. I know. You guys make fun of me all the time because they'll catch me at my desk just cuticle nipping away because you get those <laughs> little, you get those little um, hang nails and they kind of bug you throughout the day. And, and if you keep picking at them, it just makes them worse. So being able to um, address them with a cuticle nipper is really important. Um, we did not, same same level of quality expectation on this product. This is another one that can cost you between $12 and $20, um, depending on where you're shopping. And we've delivered the same quality for $3. So what you do is you just go in and you kind of turn this lever around to be able to create tension between the two handles. And I did not know that when I, I first started <laughs> using cuticle clippers, but it Most makes all it. the difference. It makes all the difference. It's kind of like um, the, the chopsticks with the helper, right? Yes. You have a little tension on that. Um, on those handles to be able to to ease the ease the product. These are really sharp, and that's again what you're looking for in a cuticle nipper. You don't want to be messing around in there. No 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 room for error. Um, so this is an amazing product. I carry it in my bag because, like I said, um, it's really easy to just maintain um, healthy cuticles at, on a daily basis. Perfect. So if you're just tuning in, we're broadcasting live from Minneapolis. This is uh, Brandless's kind of second headquarters. Our main headquarters is in San Francisco, and um, our most of our buying team lives here and works out of this office. And Maddie is our beauty tools expert who sourced um, and worked on this entire collection that launched today. So shortly, um, Alex will be joining us, who some of you may have met last week, who is our buyer for um, all of this category and she'll be talking us uh, talking to us about the clean skin assortment um, But Maddie would love for you to walk us through the rest of this assortment sure, that just yeah. launched today again Everything is three dollars uh, and before we do that wanted to say hi to Debbie um, Hi, Debbie. From Michigan, Michigan. Carolyn for, from Vegas, Ooh, Jessica Vegas. from Missouri, Kiki from um, Florida who loves the chocolate chip cookies, the cookie nice. things. I think you're not nice. alone there. Um, and we want to make sure, uh, Kristen from Georgetown, uh, we want oh, to make sure, to out there. we want to make sure we get to a very important question, um, from Peter who says he's asking for a friend on when you oh. use toner. So when Alex comes on, we'll talk about the different ways and times to yeah. use toner, which yeah. is this beautiful, uh, green apple toner and item. So. That's awesome that you bring that up because, um, I was very careful and very intentional about creating a um, not female centric and kind of gender neutral beauty tools assortment because I don't know, but me and my husband go through more nail clippers than I care to admit, right? Everybody uses these products and you want the same exact quality um, depending on, not depending on whether you're a girl or a guy or, or how you identify. So really um, neutral, awesome product that can be used by our entire community. And that's, what, that's hugely important here. Okay, so I will next talk through our metal nail file. 
This is a cool product. I'll actually talk about all the nail files together. So before we get into the metal one, I'll, I'll, I'll work on the more conventional product. So this is an emery board nail file. So what you're typically used to using um, to file your nails, this is that um, item that every everybody has in their bags um, and kind of on hand at all times. It's got a really fun colors here, blue and green. These colors were chosen intentionally because you can find them in those messy bags and they're easier to locate <laughs> than um, a black or, or, or other neutral colors would be. There's a medium grip on both sides, grit, sorry, on both sides, and that's the um, level of harshness that the emery board has on it and how it, how it um, files. So that is useful for most nail types and usually what people want to use on the, on the daily basis. One SKU, so one item here for $3, you get four, um, four emery boards, and one is a travel size. I love that this one. This one is, A, it's just so cute. I mean, yeah. travel size is so cute to begin with, um, but it's perfect for just those little littler bags or, or smaller spaces where you just want to like kind of put a nail file and, and get back to I'll it I'll even like tuck it in like my little clutch when I go. Yes. Like out to dinner with my husband oh, and you like only have room for a lipstick you and one Kleenex. I have room for this because you know that's when you always chip a nail. Absolutely. Um, and three dollars for all three dollars for all four. And then when do you use a metal nail file versus an so emery board? It, same occasion. Um, it the metal nail file delivers a little a little bit of a sharper. Um, here, let me get this. So it's more like here. a preference. It's, a, it's definitely more of a preference and it depends on how fine-tuned you want to get here, but there are so many cool out, nail files out there. Um, and the metal one is really great because it holds its sharpness um, for longer than the traditional emery board will. This one will fade and that's just the, the, that the nature sense. of the material. A metal nail file will really stay sharp for longer um, and it, it delivers a really precise file. Um, it, it, it's a really cool, interesting product. It's awesome. As, as, if you file often to have on on hand all the time um, because like I said it, it dulls less fast. Got it. Very yeah. cool. Really so cool. that's basically our at home manicure or pedicure though we should mention one of the new items that we launched today to complete mm -hmm. your your pedicuring at home is this incredible foot cream. It's made with moisturizing coconut oil and as our entire uh, clean beauty assortment, it is formulated against a 400 band ingredient list. So ingredients that um, we find questionable, we just don't put in the product because beauty is really about, um, clean beauty is more about what's not in the product than what is in it. Yes. Um, and everything is cruelty free, which means we never test on animals. Love that. Um, this, this product is uh, mint uh, scented, so you get that nice tingly, minty sensation mm. when you're you're um, making, you're doing your own pedicure. And that's what this collection is about, right? Like that DIY mani pedi, being yeah. able to not have to spend one or two hours in a nail salon every weekend. We're all busy. We all we all get it. But you also want ooh, smells that that smells delish. Just so you guys can get it's it. Not not to be thick, guys. Don't get that confused. Smells, don't eat it. But. Don't eat it. <laughs> But that's amazing. Um, yeah, so really DIY manicure friendly products. I'll go through the, um, the, the uh, pencil sharpener. So it's a dual sided pencil sharpener and it's got room for a regular or standard size pencil and then one of those larger pencils. So depending on your makeup routine, depending on what you use, this is a very versatile product for all. And it's super sharp. Like yes. I, I've, you need that, obviously a sharpener should sharpen, but I love getting that like nice point when yes. you're sharp, freshly sharpening your, your makeup pencils. Absolutely. And for me, my biggest pain point with products like this is that I'll put it back in my makeup bag where everything lives and then the, the, um, sharp it, the, the shavings will fall out mm -hmm. and it'll open and it's just such a pain in the butt, yeah. right? You got to clean out that whole bag again. Um, so these all hold your shavings really securely. Um, and you'll be able to easily open trash and then put it back on. Um, I'm wondering, and I'm going to put Maddie on the spot here, you oh boy. guys. Oh boy. Um, do you have any hacks? One of the things that I hate is cleaning the, like once you, once yeah. you clean it and the, your makeup, like the color part of your, your pencils get stuck in there. I always just use a Q-tip. Q do you have any other? No. No? All right. Q-tip. Q-tips work though. And like alcohol? We, we or? Have, yeah. Q-tips, alcohol. You gently use alcohol to clean all of your beauty tools, especially your cuticle nippers and a nail clipper set, any bacteria or fungi that, that might get on there from the use. You just want that off as, as far as long-term use. So really easy to, to use um, our cotton rounds as well to, um, to clean these products and keep those blades nice and sharp and clean. Perfect. 
Um, thank you. Let's say hi to Courtney from Ohio who says she's loved everything you, that you've gotten from popcorn to the body lotion. Awesome. Thank you, Courtney. Ava from Phoenix who says she loves, loves, loves the facial cleanser. Me too, Ava. I just started using that item and um, I love that it doesn't have like that extra foaming, which is again something that is typically, Alex will talk more about this, but a lot of foaming um, is generally generally indicative of um, a questionable ingredient in beauty products and the fact that ours doesn't do that is testament awesome. to the fact that we don't have unnecessary or questionable ingredients. Yeah. Back to Maddie, beauty tools. So last item I want to talk through is the eyelash curler. And when you talk about enhancing natural beauty, this is such a great product. When you don't feel like putting makeup on or you don't really, you're not really interested in um, doing, doing the whole deal one day, curling your eyelash is a really great way to kind of give, in your, give your eyes that wake up, that refreshing look. Um, our product is really high quality. We have um, a, uh, a very kind of minimal approach to the eyelash curl curler. We've put all of the right details in place and put up the focus on all the right things. So um, the size of the curl here is what we want. We spend most time developing and really perfecting to be able to create that natural wide curl um, that you're looking for. It also comes with a refill pad because what most people don't know is that when your curler starts um, not working or not doing as well as it wasn't before, it's because that pad is, has moved a little, it's dulled a little, it's not as springy. And so it's really important to um, refill that pad when that starts happening so that you're not um, sacrificing the quality of your curler. I love that, and again, yeah. this this item um, is another great example of how our, our Just What Matters um, philosophy has been brought to life by our, our team, Maddie, who sourced uh, and built, built this assortment, because typically when your eyelash curler would stop working, I think people throw it away and then you go mm -hmm. buy a new one, mm -hmm. but we gave you a refill here, so $3 yeah. and basically an extra life of the product just yeah. by having that replacement. So yeah, great job, Maddie. I love it. Um, and then we should remind people of our two amazing scented um, hand, hand creams. creams as well. Citrus yes. bergamot is my personal oh, favorite, but it. the lemon verbena comes in a close second. Mm -hmm. um, again, everything cruelty-free and formulated against a 400 band ingredient list. And uh, would love to answer any questions. If you guys have any questions for Maddie about beauty tools, yeah. um, we'll be bringing Alex on shortly to chat about our clean skincare regimen. So let me see. Um, we have a coworker claims he doesn't have cuticles. I think he needs to try these cuticle nippers. <laughs> Thanks, Hanya. Everybody, has, everybody has everybody cuticles. Everybody has cuticles. <laughs> Um, Megan, hello from Michigan. She says she orders almost every week, loves our products. Woo! Um, Lynn says she loves everything. Bridget from Lafayette, she loves the mini shortbread cookies. Hello to Hope. Um, so, uh, Hope is asking, do we sell makeup brushes? So we'll, right now, no. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, hello from Corning um, to Hope. Uh, Ava is asking, do we have glass nail files? We don't, and that's because we chose the metal route, and that's because I believe in the quality of this product over the glass. The glass, um, it breaks a lot easier in your in your makeup bag. It's just harder to uh, maintain the quality of that product. Metal dulls less and less fast, less quickly, and um, it's just a really good versatile file. So when we think about adding in innovative type products, we, we definitely went with this route first. I love the idea of exploring glass, but um, would love Ava if you tried this one and, and let me know what you think. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Any other beauty tool specific questions, please go ahead and comment in our feed and we'll get back to you and answer um, your questions and comments. I'd love for you guys to meet Alex, who is our beauty oh. buyer. Thank you so much, Matt. Oh, you guys Amazing are so Amazing job. Thank you for um, making these incredible products available yes. to everyone for three dollars launch day yes. awesome alex hi. hi how's it going good how are you i'm awesome good big beauty launch day yes so, okay brandless now has a complete like soup to nuts daily skincare regimen everything you want to do for your face so yes. tell us about that um well excited today because We've talked about 
just the regular facial cleanser in the grapefruit scent. And now we've launched a facial scrub. So that's super exciting. So if I'm gonna start from the beginning, I think I encourage you to visit um, brandless.com because there's an awesome how-to video that we put up um, on the website and you'll find it by just clicking into each one of these specific items. Um, but first and foremost, <clears throat> Great to start with the facial cleanser as a makeup remover. And I um, I tend to double cleanse, which is something that I've been reading a ton about. Um, I'm not sure if that's part of your skincare routine. Um, but I do find that I cleanse once just to remove the makeup and the dirt from the day. And then pat dry, cleanse a second time, um, just to really make sure that I'm getting the grit off. So this is something that... I've been reading a lot about and we've been talking about um, in the office the, this concept of double cleansing. Mm -hmm. So when you do it, do you do you use um, this product twice or do you use another product as your second cleanse? Um, I'll use this twice as kind of my everyday and then if I'm going to exfoliate, which we recommend exfoliating, I mean it's all about your skincare type, right? But I tend to exfoliate three to four times a week. We recommend two to three um, I would try it out, obviously, um, knowing the sensitivity um, from a face perspective. But if it is an exfoliating day, I'll cleanse first with this, and second, I'll follow up with the exfoliator. Awesome. Um, quick pause here. Yeah. There's some questions around how much how much our products cost, and some of our our uh, viewers are answering others' questions. So thank you so much, um, Francis, Amy, and Delilah, for um, answering Lisa's question. Everything is $3, so pretty mind-blowing, isn't it? Um, clean beauty for $3. Every single thing that you see in front of you is $3 each and formulated against an over 400 band ingredient list. And so we've taken ingredients that we find are questionable and we've just left them out of the products and formulated with um, the safest and most efficacious ingredients. Yes. Do you want to chat, talk a little bit more about that for those of our viewers that are just tuning in? Yeah, of course. Um, so all of our items, as, as Rita mentioned, um, do not contain 400 ingredients. And actually, it's growing by the day. So it's approaching 500 as we continuously wow, do um, research and um, hold ourselves to the highest standards within the industry. So, and by the way, you can see these 400 ingredients if you go onto our website and, and it, there's a blog post that lists every single 400. Yes, or yes. 400 band ingredients. Also, it's linked under our value page. And if there's, see what's interesting about ingredients is if there's one in particular, there's so many different iterations of a certain ingredient. So if you know that you're sensitive to something in particular, write us, call us, and we can um, answer that question. Because I know it can be difficult combing through um, to make sure and see if it's listed, but we're always willing to help and want to make sure um, that everything that you're using of ours is, is safe. Um, but yes, yeah, so common ones that I think are, um, you know, used most within the clean beauty industry would be sulfates, which is typically a foaming agent and can be a skin irritant parabens, phthalates, um, even, um, you know, one that I've been researching a lot is um, petroleum from, you know, Vaseline and petroleum jelly, which, um, you know, just the name in and of itself, petroleum, gives you a little bit of an unnerving <laughs> feel when you think about putting it on your skin. Um, so that will never be found in our in our products. Um, mineral oil, um, you know, there's, there's several that continue to pop up as we're becoming more educated as consumers. So um, it's exciting. Because your skin is an organ, right? So it's like what you put on your skin is absorbed into your body. It's almost like you were, were eating it. Right. And there's, there's a ton of other, not a ton, but there are other safer options to use that can get you the same end result and also are more than likely less of an irritant um, and just overall better from a toxicity perspective. So 
yeah anymore. thank you so oh, much yeah. um I, I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that our incredible three dollar clean beauty assortment is uh, formulated against these 400 banned ingredients um alex is going to continue to walk us through the clean beauty kind of uh regimen because yes. we we have the five-step system now for your daily kind of facial skincare program yes so started out with the double cleanse or single cleanse whichever you prefer um exfoliator so this product is amazing an incredible value here um, another thing that I like to do is uh, keep one in my shower too for that morning cleanse um, and this is a great one that you can keep in the shower along with this um, but yes yeah, so this I would use you know two to three times a week depending upon your skin type um, and again cruelty free along with all of our products um, the cruelty free meaning we never test on on animals yes yes exactly um and then the next item i'd like to highlight is the facial toner so i am this is one of my personal favorites it's um uh it's a witch hazel astringent so i want to be clear here like still super gentle but effective so you're not going to have i've used toners in the past where i ha add them onto my skin and i feel uh stinging or burning mm -hmm. sensation That's based alcohol, on right? how much of um a certain ingredient is your mm -hmm. yeah or salicylic acid mm -hmm. or you know it's um it's a variety of of ingredients that can cause that but i do want to say this is it's very mild but highly effective um and great to remove the additional makeup or you know dirt pollutants that might be found on your skin after cleansing also i like to use it in the morning just as a refresh really um, it has such an amazing um natural fragrance that we've added which is the green apple um and so it's really it's really just a great pick-me-up too morning midday i've been throwing it in my pool bag um as well so if i'm outside at the beach or whatever it's great after a workout too um, I love that. This yes. Is, this is my favorite um, product too, and I particularly love using it. Like in the um, when I work out in the morning, I I usually wash my face yes. the first thing that I wake up so that I get a clean sweat going. Mm -hmm. And then when I work out, then I use the toner afterwards. So like the oils and stuff that have come up through working out, yes. and I cleanse that off again. Yes. And and I just love it. And, as I'm thinking about this, I bet this would be really good if you put it into like a spray bottle too, just yes. to like mist. And, yes. and the scent is just heavenly. Someone yes. was already commenting about how much they loved it as well. Um, Want to say hi to Sharon Anne from Trinidad. Hello. We don't ship to the Caribbean yet, um, Anne, but uh, sometime in the future maybe. Thank you so much for uh, your interest. Um, Rhonda um, and a couple of other people are actually asking about sunscreen. Oh. When will we have sunscreen and is it in the works? It's in the works. It's a long process. We obviously want to make sure we're hitting on the banned ingredient list, but then also providing broad spectrum, highly effective um, formulation. So it's coming, I promise you. Thank you so much. Um, hi to Pam from South Jersey and Susan. She said she got her brandless box this week. We hope you love oh, everything, awesome, Susan. Susan. Um, I want to get back to a question yeah. that we got from Peter, who was oh. asking for a friend on when do you use use toner. So we talked about a couple yeah. of dif different occasions, but so after cleansing. Yes. Right? Yep. Yep. I typically use it after cleansing. Um, I use it as a refresher throughout the day. Um, I keep it in my beach bag as well. Um, it's just a great way. I think especially for me, um, I have acne prone skin. So I try to really be cautious of kind of the environment that my skin is in throughout the day. Is it warm? Is it humid? You know, what's happening? Um, and this is just a great way to continuously make sure that your face is clean, you're unclogging those pores, um, and it's just a really easy application. So obviously, like, it's not as simple to be able to, like, grab face wash, get to a sink, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this, you keep it in your bag, you have some of our organic cotton, um, cotton rounds, and it's super easy um, to open the lid, add a little, 
and then swipe or dab, um, particularly too if you have problem areas. So if you're having a breakout as well, I tend to um, treat that more often throughout the day just to help um, reduce irritation and redness. I love how versatile this product is. Um, and another way that I've used it um, is also as kind of a prep for the next step of moisturizing. Yeah. So once yeah. I feel like all of the makeup and grime from the day is gone, um, sometimes moisturize or uh, sometimes cleansers can feel like they've like stripped your your skin, mm -hmm. and you want to keep it moist and ready to absorb your next step after this, which is the moisturizer. So so sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually put a little on a hand on my hand or a piece of gauze and kind of pat it on my face and then wait like a minute before my face is completely dry and then I put the, the moisturizer on. Yeah, I think that's a great call to ensure that you're allowing it to soak into the skin. Um, so, you know, and that can be anywhere from like 10 to 15 seconds. It doesn't take a long time. Um, and then following up with, you know, we've got this amazing face facial lotion. Um, and then we've also just launched this night cream. So I tend to look at this as a morning and night routine, um, but again, really depends on the skin. I would say my skin is on the drier side, so I use the night to really lather on something that's a little bit thicker and has more moisturizing benefits. So shea butter is first ingredient that we call out from this product. Um, so, and even, even as you, um, is that open? Yeah, it is open. Like if you want to zoom in, yeah, can, you can see great. like the thickness of this. So really good for nighttime to allow, I don't know, just substantial time for it to soak in. Um, oh wow. That's really nice and thick. Yes. Um, while we demonstrate this, I want to answer a couple of questions that have just come in um, about a brandless box. Um, so we may have caused a, a, a little confusion and I apologize. So when when you purchase products from brandless online, we ship to you in a box and so we call that the brandless box. And you, you go online and when you build your cart, we call it building your box and it's going to be whatever you want to purchase. So you're customizing your own brandless box. And right now we are talking about our new uh, clean beauty items that just launched today. We launched 12 new items. We're talking about our five-step uh, skin facial skincare regimen. Um, also on the table are our new beauty tools and everything is $3. So we just wanted to show you guys the difference. You can see that this yeah, um, it's so much the daily thinner. moisturizer is a lot thinner than, um, than the night cream, which is how you want it, right? Um, yes. You don't want like to feel like you're wearing a mask at, exactly. at during the day, but exactly. at night it's awesome and you wake up like with your skin glowing and beautiful and yeah. you have a, a nice um, heavier moisturizer during yeah. the evening. And even now, like, I, you know, it totally depends on where you live and again, your skin type, like Minneapolis is super humid. So I've even been switching to summer. using, yeah, exactly. I've been switching to using um, the facial lotion for morning and night. Um, and then I'll bring this back out in the winter months. Um, again, it's skin dependent, but also just to give you another idea on how to use our products. This is so great too, because it is thin, but still has the moisturizing benefits of a high content of aloe in the formulation. So it's still gonna provide that boost of moisture that you need. Um, it's gonna soak in much faster than this and really great to use um, under your makeup as a primer, et cetera. Yeah, love that. Um, Ava from Phoenix is uh, sharing with, with us that she uses the night cream during the day because it's so dry in Phoenix. Totally. Right. Yeah. And during um, a couple months. of months, winter yeah. months here um, up in the Midwest and northern part of the United States, it gets so, so dry. So. Um, we feel you. Uh, really important to kind of customize your facial skincare routine based on your your environment um, and what's going on in terms of humidity and temperature and all of that good stuff. So, exactly. Um, we have just a couple of minutes left here um, as we're talking about our beauty launch today. Twelve new products um, featuring our five-step facial skincare regimen 
our clean beauty line, everything formulated against a 400 band ingredient list. Alex is our beauty resident Hi, beauty expert buyer here who um, joined us. Maddie joined us in the beginning um, talking about beauty tools. So we launched seven, seven new yes. beauty and grooming tools. I um, want to mention again that everything is completely gender neutral. So um, husbands, significant others, maybe it's time for them to step up their uh, skincare regimen. And, and I know that my husband certainly is somebody who, like I have to remind him to do that stuff because he thinks washing his face is splashing water on his, on his face. <laughs> I don't know how, how Dustin is. Yeah, I would I, say falls in that same camp for but, sure. But, uh, but the packaging and everything about it was designed to just work and to have uh, a wide appeal and everything is, is $3. Exactly. Um, we had a couple of questions um, around deodorant as well. Oh, yes. So I can tell you that deodorant um, is coming. We can't confirm a launch date right now, but um, it's in the works. And I've been product testing. I'm not sure if I gave you a sample. Yeah. I should. Um, but it's great. We've been highly impressed with where we landed on a formulation. So more to come there, but in the pipeline for sure. And again, as part of our beauty and personal care collection, it would also be formulated against our very stringent um, clean standards. Yes, exactly. And it would follow our fragrance policy as well. So Which is I think you'll see here, like we've highlighted grapefruit, we've got green apple um, from a toner perspective, and then fragrance free within our face, facial lotions, and night cream. Um, I do want to say from a fragrance perspective, we do not use any synthetic fragrances. Um, so that's something that we stand behind. Any fragrances within our items are definitely, um, they follow our banned ingredient list. Um, we're more than happy um, to, if there's, if there's an irritant that you think is being driven by any of our fragrances, please reach out and we'd be happy to um, disclose what our fragrance, you know, what ingredient lists make up our fragrance. Um, but a lot of times there's seed oils, there are essential oils. It's really dependent on the product. But I do want to ensure you that we never use synthetic fragrances and each fragrance has an ingredient list that is um, that does adhere to our banned ingredient list, which you know, I encourage you to take a look at some of the products that you're using because I was surprised. You'll see just fragrance listed out on the ingredient listing. Um, that's because each fragrance has a full ingredient list that makes up that fragrance, right? So it's like this whole other, um, a whole other world, a whole other <laughs> world, right? Of you know, ingredients that are used to make up this fragrance that can that can more times um, cause you know irritation on the skin. So. Um, we're really trying to be transparent with with everybody and everything that we do. So I do want to ensure you that we've done the due diligence to make sure that they adhere to our ban list. And we're more than happy um, to share that with you if there's ever a question that arises or an irritation that happens from one of our products. Um, and all of the products are also gluten-free. Yes, that's another hero. Um Kind of yeah, yeah, attribute yeah. group value that we stand behind is 400 band ingredient list cruelty free and then gluten free so um everything within our personal care line adheres to those values so christy um is asking is our facial wash and lotion appropriate for children you know that's a great question um I Do we want to get back to? Yeah, I'd say we get back. We I'd just want to make sure back. that yes. we we check with our QA teams, um, and we'll we'll get back to you with an answer on on your post on Facebook. Thank yes. you for that question. Yes. Um, we are just about done here. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in again. Check out our. Uh, beauty collections page our beauty and grooming tools online everything yes. is three dollars brand new just launched today thank you so much to yeah. um, Alex thank you to Maddie earlier for joining us and sharing um, all of the behind the scenes uh, fun details thank you for everyone who tuned in and asked questions uh, definitely stay tuned here on Facebook we'll keep you posted when we're going live again so this is brandless buyers live we'll be broadcasting um, regularly and sharing behind the scenes info and intel on new products, new launches, answering your questions. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody.